Today in Massachusetts, we are an apple growing industry. We've managed to grow almost $20 million of apple crop. That's 12th in the United States, that value. And we're really lucky to have over 350 apple orchards in the Commonwealth. In Western Massachusetts and the four counties, it's incredibly beautiful. And in just these counties alone, there are almost 20 pick your own orchards. This is the time of year when the air is crisp and we just love being outdoors and, and it's the time when the apples are crisp and we can be part of the pick your own operations or be buying apples in our local stores, farmers markets and farm stands. This is Apex Orchards in Shelburne, Massachusetts. This farm has been in the family since 1828. Originally it was a diversified farm as all farms were back then. Um, some dairy, some pigs, some sheep. And then in 1946, they sold the dairy herd. And uh, we've been strictly apples since then. We're currently growing about uh, 30 acres of apples. We start picking apples um, late July. Uh, we're picking right through the months of August, September, October. And uh, two years ago, we planted some pink ladies, so that will take our harvest season into November this year, actually. Apples grown in Western Mass, New England, in the hill farms are, you know, completely different from stuff you'll buy from the West Coast. Uh, the microclimates here, the soils here, make for probably some of the top apple growing regions in the world. And apples have a long and rich history in New England. When the pilgrims came over, there were no apples here in the New World. And they made the request and the Massachusetts Bay Colony brought seeds and seedlings on their next trips. And soon, within years, anyone who was growing food, which was most people, there would always be apple trees and some harvest being done. And for many different reasons. They were done for eating, they were done for hard cider, and they were done even for livestock. My mother and father-in-law bought the farm in 1974 and, and I came to work for them back in 1981. Folks start really thinking about apples come fall when kids get back to school and the air starts to crisp up a bit and uh, our, our busiest weekends run through Labor Day through uh, Columbus Day weekend but we do keep going full, full bore right through Thanksgiving. We've chose to uh, sell directly to the consumer. It's, it's with the size of our farm and the, the varieties that we, that we grow, um, it seems to have worked out best to, to, to direct market our fruit to, uh, right to the consumer. But we've found uh, enjoyment, if you will, in, in, in greeting the public and inviting them to the farm and, and having them uh, participate in the harvest. Okay, what's another one? How about this one? We always enjoy this time of year, the harvest season particularly. Uh, we always enjoy having people come out to the farm. It's a, it's a great time of year. It's a, it's a great business to be in because when people come here to pick apples, they're always happy, they're always having a good time. And uh, they just enjoy coming out to the farm and relaxing and seeing the view and picking a few apples.